Well, just a, uh, you know, really proud of the way the guys played. I thought we prepared good last week. Um, you know, you always worry that there'd be a letdown. Uh, but I thought we prepared hard. I thought we, we played a pretty solid game. Um, we know we have an outstanding opponent coming in here Saturday, and uh, I think we understand we got to go to work. Coach, you said that you would learn the most about your team in between weeks one and week two. So looking back at that matchup, what were some of the things you were able to fine tune? Well, I thought um, you know it was good to see us make some big plays offensively and, and on the special teams. Defensively, I, I thought um, we played pretty well up front. You know, it was pretty uh, a dominating game on the line of scrimmage, I think. But uh, you know, you you certainly like the maturity of the football team. You know, not uh, looking past an opponent because we knew we, we had to be prepared. Our guys prepared hard. I, I was pleased with that maturity. Were there any guys that? that you put in because the score was what it was that you really liked and maybe they even moved up in the depth chart? I think so. I think there was, um, you know, there, there's guys that we needed to play. I think the more guys you can play early, it's going to help you down the road because we all know you're going to need some guys down the road. But I, offensively, it was good to get Tez in there and get him some carries. I think, he, you know, he's only going to get more and more. Uh, carries. It was good to watch Parker come in and play. We needed to see that. Um, you know, it was also <coughs> defensively we played Demario Smith. We got Demario in there. I think he's a guy that's going to have to help us up front this year. Uh, some of the guys on the back end, you know, Curtis Michael got a lot of snaps. So it was good to get that to Curtis Tavares Moore, getting some of those guys in and, and letting those guys play because those guys are going to have to play here as the season goes on. How many? Uh, Tim, you know, that's a great question, but, you know, we probably have, you know, you'd probably be seven, six or seven guys probably, you know. And that's why it was good to get DeMario in there because, you know, Jerry didn't play Saturday. So, uh, you know, it was just, uh, of course, you know, Draper this summer. So, you know, we, we got to get him ready to go. Will McCordy uh, play this week? I think so. I think so. Coach, did you get a chance to watch the Clemson-Troy game much? And yeah, just an outstanding football team. You know, a talented football team, extremely well coached. Uh, you know, we know we got a big challenge coming in here Saturday night. Uh, I'm sure you don't, you know, approach the game any differently, but how did what they did against Clemson, how does that really force you to take a hard look at them as a team? It better, you know, it better, uh, certainly a better way. I mean, we already know Troy is an outstanding football team, but, you know, that just – not only wakes up what we already knew, but kind of just wakes up, you know, the, the entire country, you know. So uh, we, we understand we got a really good football team coming in. Coach, when you look at this Clemson team on film, is there anything either offensively or defensively that they do that kind of creates a special challenge or a unique challenge? You, you're talking Troy? Yes. Lanny, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, it's a um, – they're, they're just – I mean, the quarterback's an excellent football player. they got uh, really good skilled players, not only out wide at receiver, but also in the backfield. I mean, that's been proven to uh, do a great job up front. So, I mean, they're, they're top to bottom a good football team. And, and uh, so, uh, when you say challenge, yeah, it's a challenge. So, we know it's a, it's a game that we got to prepare hard and, and we've got to be focused. What do they like to run on both sides, I mean, in terms of – yeah, they are. You know, that's that's a kind of coaching cliche, but it's fair, Tim. That they're a, a team that uh, again can attack you from a lot of different angles. You know, so uh, you know, the, again, good running backs, good receivers, good quarterback, and I think they've proven that in the last couple of weeks. Uh, so um, you know, they're a team that uh, you know makes you work. Well, you know, certainly uh, I think our team understands we've got a really good football team coming in here Saturday night. Um, sometimes when you play, and I'd say there's some FCS teams that will that are play you to the wire no matter who, who, who the opponent is, but sometimes when you play an opponent that you're supposed to win, you know, like Savannah State, 
you know, you do worry about your players. You know, I mean, you, you, you want to make sure that they're focused, taking nothing for granted. You know, this week they don't have to worry about it because uh, I think that's one thing that uh, every man in that dressing room and that locker room understands. We've got a really good football team coming in there Saturday. Now, having said that, you have a win against an FCS opponent, but then also an SEC opponent, so, you know, you beat a you know, variation of opponents. But um, just seeing 2-0 and on the record sheet, how does that help your team's confidence? Well, Again, I always like to say football is like a poker game. We'll count those chips up at the end. You know, we're, we're right in the middle of the cards are still being dealt. So uh, we, we can't sit back and look at where we are or whatever. We just got to get prepared for Troy. That's all that matters right now is the Troy game. And, uh, you know, that's, that's plenty of – that's enough on our plate right now. It's two weeks in a row now where you've had – where the offense has gotten uh, production from a lot of different – Goal, or is that just kind of how it's happening? Or? I think it's a goal. I mean, it's one of those deals where you want a lot of guys touching the ball. I think that's uh, you know, that's something that uh, is important. Uh, it allows you to have a little bit of diversity and not be. Coach, can you recall where you've had running backs, two of them go for 100 yards in the first two games of the season like that? And I realize, you know. <laughs> Tim, you, you dig it, you dig some hard questions at me now, man. Uh, you know, um, I, I don't know. I'm, Again, I, I would have to go back, and, and, I, and I don't even really, to be honest with you, I don't really pay attention to it that much. I just know uh, those guys really played hard, and they've, they've put together two. You know, and some of those runs, you know, the one Edo made in the, what was it, in the first quarter, you know, that was a, a great effort, you know, and then picked up some critical blocks when he hit the perimeter. But, uh, you know, that's the thing about Edo, he's a hard runner, and George, Again, George, you know, he's physical. And uh, again, it's a good little one two punch. But I was glad to see Tez get some carries too and uh, just continue as, as he continues to get better and better. I like the zero to zero. The play starts with zero on the clock, and he scores with zero on the clock. That's, right. That's, that's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Talk a little bit more about Tez. I mean, is he, are you kind of bringing him along slowly just out of caution? Like, being a little bit cautious, or well, a little bit. Tez, Tez is ready, but uh, we're, we're, but that, there's a little bit of truth into that too, Jason. Just making sure um, he, he's 100 percent ready to go, and, and you saw him run Saturday. I think we're getting closer and closer to 100 percent. How about the offensive line? A lot of the backups played there. Uh, I was really pleased with Tyler. Uh, I think Tyler uh, mentally proved that he can he can handle everything. Uh, you know that was always good to see. Um, again, I think Oliver was our offensive player of the week. Bates he he did a good job. He, he played really good defensively. Xavier Thigpen we thought was the guy. Played real well and special teams wise. You know it was. Uh, Tyler Sarazen, what a job. He did a great job kicking all for us and punting. So he shared it with Alan Zay on the big touchdown return. But I think those two guys uh, had uh, had big games. Anything else? Um, Coach, I read a quote somewhere from Coach Brown of Troy that said, you know, his team against Clemson played, you know, with they're out to prove some, you know, some of those players maybe not recruited by big schools like Clemson. I'm curious if there's players like that on this team who have an attitude where they want to prove people wrong. Well, we've, we've been that team. We've been a team like that. Uh, that's kind of our tradition at Southern Miss, so we understand what he's saying. You know, it's uh, I think our guys, um, you know, um, you know, that's kind of how they feel too. You know, that you want to go out every week and you want to play with them. You know, you know. A lot of times when you play those ACC or SEC opponents, I think that's something that kind of naturally happens.